Hey, welcome to Bill Plays Bass. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different, uh, still in the musical instrument realm. However, uh, I have a problem with this Shure, uh, this expensive Shure SM57 wireless microphone. Uh, in this case, uh, some cheap batteries have been left in it for too long, and uh, cheap batteries always leak. So, try to get this a little closer to the camera. But uh, the corrosion is really bad, but the corrosion only, the leakage only seems to be on the plastic. Trying to get this thing to focus. Uh, you can see it. So, what's interesting is most people would call that battery acid. Well, batteries typically aren't acidic, they're alkaline or base. And what's in there is the alkaline material uh, leaking out and probably being oxidized. What that means is there's a fair chance you can get that clean or at least cleaner with a, uh, an acid. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use a little bit of uh, white vinegar. Use the uh, cheapest, uh, nastiest white vinegar you can find at your local grocery store or if there's something even worse that's only meant for cleaning. I'll uh, use just a very little bit of that. Uh, this is sensitive electronics here. If this battery component or compartment came out easily, I would simply remove the uh, battery component or compartment <laughs> and uh, just kind of scrub down the town but we can't do that so uh, let me show you we've got this lovely little cup of uh, with a little bit of vinegar in it and our tool of choice today is going to be a used toothbrush so let's just kind of dip it in there and then I'm, I want it moist but not soaking wet and what you'll see I don't know if you can see it or not but it's, it's doing kind of the vinegar and baking soda reaction, which is the same kind of uh, chemicals uh, together. So you would expect that. It's kind of bubbling up. And believe it or not, this was, this was kind of caked on there. Like you'd have to use your thumbnail pretty hard to get it off. Uh, this is a better case than one might find in a lot of waterways. So that just, wow. I did not expect that to be that good. So I'm left with just a little bit uh, here. And yeah, I, I, I literally just didn't get any of uh, the vinegar that far down. Yeah, I'm trying to be careful here. The, Presumably most of the electronics are actually in the top of this thing. And this is at the bottom. Yeah, trying just not to hose this thing down. And then you do want to uh, dry this out. Sorry, I was <laughs> doing some of this off camera. But uh, you want to just dry that out. Alright, wow. I mean, that just... Again, you guys can't see it. Uh, kind of funny. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I will tell you this. Um, yeah, this stuff does actually corrode metal. So, if it gets on uh, the metal contacts and it stays there too long, it literally will corrode them. While you'll be able to clean this off, you would almost have to uh, sand uh, the corrosion off at that point. It'll, like, it'll pit the metal. So I'm going to let this dry just a few more seconds. And actually, I'm going to go grab a couple of batteries and uh, make sure this thing fires up. All right, I'm back here with a couple of double A's. Let's see what happens. Time to switch on. And here we go. These things never focus on a camera. You just never get them to go. But you can see the light. You can kind of see the battery there. Yeah, it just refuses to focus. That's always been the way. Anytime I've ever tried. There we go. You can see the channels. So I will turn that off. And uh... now, uh, what I will say is obviously this was not uh, broken before. Uh, it didn't just like it wasn't working and then. Uh, magically it works instead uh, once you check the batteries in it 
uh, because it wasn't turning on because the batteries were dead because they leaked out all of their uh, precious goo inside instead of uh, keeping hold of it. So uh, you need to catch this at about this time or sooner for this to be the best thing ever. But uh, I will tell you, just putting a little bit of water and uh, scrubbing in there with the same toothbrush would not have removed that stuff. It's very stubborn, anybody who's dealt with it before. Uh, so this is a great trick. Uh, presumably you could use, I don't know, uh, you know, something like any other sort of mildly acidic item, like maybe lemon juice. I don't know that I would do that. Uh, stick to the vinegar. Uh, don't buy the foo-foo vinegar just for this. It's a waste of money, and some of that stuff might have some sugar in it. Well, there you go. Uh, easiest pie. So, uh, till next time. See ya.